And the final aspect for this week is looking at how we can actually make use of computer games in education. So various purposes that we can apply, um, such as engagement and motivation, fairly common one, but developing problem solving skills, facilitating collaborative learning, teaching about specific content, improving digital literacy, supporting differentiated instruction, and simulating real world scenarios. Now there's many others that we're going to be exploring over the next few weeks, but that's enough to start getting your head around. And think about some of the challenges and considerations we have to apply in using computer games within classrooms and in educational settings, such as having it integrate with the curriculum. So there is alignment between the game use and what students are intending, or what we're intending students learn. Um, accessibility and inclusiveness aspects around computer games, and also balancing time. Um, a lot of criticism comes around the excessive use of computer games for leisure activities. And so we also have to make sure that we accommodate those concerns in the use of computer games within educational contexts. And then I've given you an activity to explore the use of a computer game for particular educational um, curriculum. So pick a computer game. It can be one that you're familiar with or I've given you a list of examples. And think about a curriculum content, such as a subject area, um, something that you wish students to learn through the use of this computer game. And then using the ideas that we've explored this week, unpack how that computer game can be effective in supporting the learning of the particular curriculum that you wish students to learn. And then you'll share that in our tutorial.